Hillary Clinton has millions invested in modern slavery. This is Scotty Reed with a Black Talk Radio News report. While the media and Hillary Clinton camp and their Clintonite minions attempt to make an issue with Donald Trump not releasing his tax returns, they are ignoring just how many companies Hillary Clinton is invested in that utilize prison slave labor. Trump has released his financial investments, and I'm sure people are combing through them now. But we already know Trump has publicly stated he supports the use of privatized prisons, as he stated in a campaign stop in Wisconsin ahead of his primary. So the only question is if Donald Trump has any money invested in modern day slavery and human trafficking through the criminal justice system as prescribed as the only legal slavery permitted by the 13th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. While an article from The Hill was titled, Where Trump Invests His Money, the piece mentions among Hillary Clinton's income, she is heavily invested in corporate America, including companies that paid her hundreds of thousands of dollars to give secretive speeches not meant for public consumption she refuses to release. However, what really stands out but has failed to generate media scrutiny is her investment in companies using prison labor under conditions that amount to slavery. One of Hillary Clinton's largest assets is a J.P. Morgan Chase custody account, which contains between 5 and $25 million in cash. People should not forget, or they should be informed, that J.P. Morgan Chase has been linked to slavery historically, and some feel the company owes reparations to the descendants of enslaved Africans. Hillary Clinton also has up to $25 million invested in a Vanguard 500 index fund. Quite a few of the corporations listed in the Vanguard 500 Index Fund are known exploiters of prison slave labor, and if they are not using it directly, they are invested in private prison corporations like AT&T, Incorporated, Wells Fargo and Company, Verizon Communications Incorporated, Bank of America Corp., and many others. When Hillary Clinton was confronted by Black Lives Matter coalition of activists about the private prison money in her campaign, the presumed Democratic nominee said she will end private prisons. Many people don't believe Hillary Clinton will do anything to harm the very industry that got a big boost from the last Clinton administration, especially when she stands to personally lose money from her investments in modern slavery and human trafficking. To view the list of companies in the Vanguard 500 Index Fund, go to Vanguard.com. This has been Scotty Reed with a Black Talk Radio News Report. For new black media for the new millennium, go to BlackTalkRadioNetwork.com.